Morning, I feel a lot better today, thank goodness. I think uh, my memory lapse yesterday was because I was very tired. I'd just driven back about three and a half hours from a Great Yarmouth, that's where I went, through to Leicester, near Leicester, about 10 miles away from Leicester actually all in one go and I was absolutely knackered and uh, one or two of you are quite concerned by the looks of some of the comments but don't worry it's uh, it's a tiredness I think more than anything any road up I've just um, done a little video to present to you regarding fitting this uh, new toy that I've got into my helmet so uh, the old fart presents thank you Well, good morning, and uh, today I'm going to do um, the review of this uh, this gizmo that I bought, or I bought, for my birthday, and uh, it's the, the Bluetooth thingy that does all the, you know, relays the music to me ear holes whilst I'm riding. Also, it should be able to um, use my GPS sound as well, hopefully through my iPhone. Um, and I should be able to speak to my pillion passenger, assuming they had one, and I had a pillion passenger in the first place, which I never do. Also, on group rides, which again, this Saturday, um, the infamously calm ride out is taking place so maybe one or two people have got them and I can talk to them through this gizmo. Right, I showed you the unboxing of the thing yesterday so today um, I thought I'd tell you how the old fat got on fixing this to his helmet and connecting it to the iPhone which is the main thing that you need to do I suppose at the end of the day so I'll whack this down and uh, I'll pick my other camera up and uh, I'll show you how we're going on so as it stands at the moment the mount fits at the side of the helmet it's not focusing very well this is that better yeah so I suppose, in a way, this helmet is a real awkward helmet to uh, fit this type of malarkey to because, let's see if I can focus the bloody thing, there we go, because um, basically it's one of these open face helmets, uh, modular helmets, and besides that I've got everything already clamped to it, you know, mounts and goodness knows what and clips and securers and goodness knows what because you know what I'm like with my bloody cameras, I'm all the while pissing about experimenting and... Anyway, on with the show. Um, what it did do is, once I got the ideal position, um, which I found to be there, um, I wiped all this area down with methylated spirits uh, to clean it all up because uh, I've always found that best for when you're sticking things on you know your GoPro mounts and God knows what it gives it a real good clean and then evaporates very quickly so I use methylated spirits as you can see it's like a little clip that uh, the uh, the unit clips to and then that one holds it in it like goes over the top of the unit and holds it in and the wiring is, is, is very simple really, um, it's just like a little mini USB that goes into the bottom of the, oops, that goes into the bottom of the, of, of this, there look. And it's a good snug fit and uh, it's fairly waterproof as well by the looks of it, I'm obviously not tried it in the rain yet but, uh, so basically that hopefully should you sort of, it's a bit of a twiddle to get it on, but where are we? You sort of place it on the slots and then slide a sort of a, a back, I think, is it? Or a forward? I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll fit it on now and then um, 
I'll leave it at that. You, you clip the bugger on. I can't do it with me one hand. But yeah, that just clips on there quite easily. Once you've got two hands, it slots in down those slots, which have got like little indents on it. Right, wiring. Um, I don't want to take my helmet to bits because it was a little bit fiddly. So let's focus again. Right. There's the microphone. I've just got it coming out the front there, and it's on there. There, it's on like um, a flexible thing that stops in position when you know when you place it. It's fairly flat, so that uh, you know the the the, the drop-down front has no problem dropping down, and it puts it in a fairly good position. The uh, Ear um, headphones, they were exactly lined up. Um, this this microphone, it ex it was exactly the right length and um, the position. I don't know whether you can see it. I bet you can't. It's bloody hard to, to show you. But in there, there is the earpiece. Obviously, uh, Elmet should have the, the 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 dig out, if you like, where it sinks into into the right position, and then the length of it was just ideal. It just tucks under here and out. Jobs are good. And uh, the wiring I've just tucked under the uh, the cushioning, and then I ran it round the back of the helmet, so it goes from there all the way round to the other side. Where the uh, the other air piece is, and it fits really flush. Uh, those sticky watsits are ideal. I, I I just thought to myself, shit a bust, I'll I'll uh, just whack the buggers in, and then uh, it it was quite easy. So I'll put this down for a bit. Yeah. So at the end of the day, um, it was a very easy installation. Um, it was trouble free. I mean, everything sort of measured up just right. The 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 ear position with the mouthpiece was absolutely spot on. Uh, it bent at the end to have what position you wanted, and then to 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 match the thing in to 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 get the iPhone and the um, this unit to to link together. That was a doddle as well. Basically, there's an on-off switch there, I don't know whether you can see it there, you hold it in, I think it's about three seconds, three or four seconds, and then you'll hear a bleep, and then you get your blue flashing light come on, which means it's working. Then you go into your iPhone and go into the Bluetooth settings, uh, and it'll pick it up, it's, it's dead easy, just you know just just do it and and it gives you a number to put in which is zero 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 easy enough to remember so it attaches dead easy to that um, all I did then was mass and bugger about with it really um, I did glance at the instructions I've got a lot more uh, instructions to read on that but start playing music on that and it plays really loud in the speakers so you, you need to adjust it which you can do uh, with this if you turn it and hold it it knocks the volume down or up so that's how that works to go from one track to another uh, you just do a quick one like that and it goes forward backwards so that works fine um, if somebody rings you um, on your mobile phone uh, and you don't want to answer it if you press and hold that in I've not tried any of this on my bike so I don't know how easy it's going to be on my bike if you press and hold that in it'll reject the call so you don't have to take it if you want to answer the, the phone quickly you just press it once and it'll cut your music off if you play music and uh, you'll go straight to the call um, there is a way of uh, ringing your last dialed call so say you want to before you set out you, you set it up to ring home or your wife or your girlfriend or whatever 
Um, it'll ring that last number. I think to do that, whilst you're riding along and you're listening to your music, if you press and hold that, I think that's it. It'll it'll ring the, the last number that you, you rang. But I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't take my word on that. Um, what else? Um, like I said, it links up very good. I've not tried it. Uh, I've been up the garden with me on my tongue and Sue's been rigging me and it works great. I can hear well. Uh, it cuts in when it should do. When when Sue rings me and I don't do anything, uh, after about five seconds it clicks in and you take the call. So you, if you're not sure who it is um, and you don't want to answer it, like these nuisance calls which sometimes can happen, I know, um, if you just press it and hold it I think that's what it said wasn't it press it and hold it it'll reject it but you're not going to know unless you've got um, your, your iPhone um, on the front of the bike where you can see it like in sat nav position which I may do I may do that I was thinking with the sat nav I've got like a little box on, on, me, on Henry just to sync the thing in and then just listen to it tell me the way I think that's probably what I might do I'm not decided on that yet um, I think with that I've already got um, a charger, a 12 volt charger for that and uh, Henry's got a socket so I can keep uh, keep it charged up. Um, all in all I'm very impressed with it, I think about 30 quid, I mean bloody hell what do you want for 30 quid, I think it's a great system. Um, I've got to try it out on a ride so I'm going to be doing that today. and. Uh, Hopefully I shall be using it on the ride out, on the infam infamously calm ride out on Saturday. If anybody else has got one of these or something that links into this, I'd be interested to uh, try that out. But so far, so good. It's very easy to fix in it seems a nice bit of kit. It's, it's well made. It, it's working as it should do at the moment. I know uh, NT8 wanted to uh, find out what other bits and bobs will fit into this. I don't know, uh, Tom, to be honest. That's the honest, that's the honest truth because I've not tried it. It fits the iPhone perfectly and this is a 4S. So I don't know whether it works on the 4, I don't know whether it works on the 5, the 5S or whatever, but it certainly works on the 4S. So that's my little review. I hope it's a little bit more... Uh, educational than than the last one. <laughs> oh, to switch this off, you just hold the thing in for I think again five seconds. That's the on-off button there, and then it flashes and off it goes. It's got um, very good battery life by all accounts. It didn't take long to charge up. I think it had got a fair amount of charging when he had it. So that's my review. Well worth the money um, if you've not got one and you fancy listening to your music if nothing else it's it's good value okay so that's it so see you saturday hopefully all and uh, ride safe <laughs>